is going on everybody? It's your boy Titanic Fee Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome you guys back to the channel. If you guys want to continue to follow me along as I build my sneaker collection, there's a list of my socials right there on the screen. Also, I need a favor. I need y'all to hit that like button, leave a comment on the video, let me know what y'all think of today's shoe. And subscribe to the channel if you want to continue to see what I'm doing here on YouTube if you like. Now today we take a look at an early sneaker. It's a lot of hype building up behind the sneaker. And we're going to jump right into it. It's one of the most iconic silhouettes ever. Air Jordan Retro 1. Y'all see the box? Y'all know what it is. We got that Bumblebee box. Yeah, I know Pittsburgh Steelers fans probably chomping at the bits to get a pair of these. So here y'all go. Let's read that box label. It says Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Color, taxi, black, and sale. Size 14, personal pair. And I believe the retail on these is going to be 170 US dollars. Here's that lot stamp right here. Red lot stamp. Uh, this is my authentication card. Went to Uncle Billy Goat again. These are incredibly low price right now at the moment. You can get a pair of these for about 240 in most sizes. And your goat sticker. Also, we have that seal of white color tissue. And look inside the box, we do not have any YDM stickers. Let's bring on the sneakers. Here we go, guys. We got the Air Jordan Retro 1 High OG Taxi 1. They are finally here in my hand, in my collection. This is my personal pair. And it was a lot of hype, but it still is a lot of hype behind these. And I don't understand why they're incredibly price low right now but I'm grateful so we're gonna start with the quarter panel white leather very tumbled very soft to the touch going around your ankle collar your heel and your toe box we got that taxi yellow colorway and you look on your ankle collar you got that Air Jordan Wings logo branded on now going in on your eye stage, your mud guard and around that toe box, you got some nice black leather guys. Nice and soft to the touch. Looking at your midsole, you got some white uh, rubber on your midsole with the taxi yellow at the very bottom. And it leads to the outsole. You have an all taxi yellow outsole guys. All taxi yellow. This sneaker is beautiful. Looking at the heel, look how nice and soft. The left is going around your ankle collar. And right here, that taxi yellow. You can see the wrinkles in it. It's so tumbled. It's nice and so they went, they went and got some of the best leather for this sneaker. And it's a nice, the cut is kind of thick if you understand what I'm saying. And going around to the medial side of the sneaker, you got that black swoosh. The black swoosh is uh, probably the worst material on the sneaker, but everything else on here is very soft to the touch and it's A1 leather, guys. You got that black going down the uh, eye stairs and your mud guard, going around your toolbox, that white leather going on your quarter panel, and also on your midsole as well, that white and your uh, taxi yellow colorway. Now we're going to uh, let you see, here comes the uh, the Carbo Shoe Tree, see size 13-14, the Jordan Brand Jumpman, and it says Die Cut Sock Liner, and I'm going to show you guys, this is what the insert looks like, Taxi Yellow, seems like a nice t-shirt material, and you got that Nike Air branding in black, and again, another Jordan 1 with this black rubber midsole you see what it says right there it says qf dash a m's 14 dream cell that's what it says there I'll give you guys a nice look 
at the tote box. Look how soft this is. Very soft, guys. It comes with black laces. These are the only laces that this sneaker comes with. It does not come with any additional laces. Black laces only. You got your uh, black nylon tone. You have a white woven patch with the text yellow Nike Air branding on here. And you have the writing on the back of it. And that's in taxi yellow as well. You got like a nice little material sock liner. It's not cotton. It's kind of smooth. And let's see. Can I get you guys a look at that sizing tag? U.S. size 14. Production date. January 5th to February 25th of this year. So about a month and a half of production with these, did Take a long time producing these guys. So let me know what y'all think of the 2022 Air Jordan Retro 1 High OG Taxes. Uh, this is a very nice sneaker. We got the box. This sneaker is set to release in September, I believe. If it doesn't get pushed back again, the placeholder date is in September. But I seen my size at the price. I had to go ahead and handle my business. So I got them showing it to y'all. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. And like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack. Signing out.